All right, big shout out to Superstar Ball Pythons. They sent in some stickers for the incubator. Check them out on social media. They got a lot of awesome snakes going on. I really like following them on Instagram and seeing what's going on with them. So we got five eggs over here, four eggs over here. We just got those eggs this morning. And we got a lot of real estate on this incubator. If you guys want a sticker and a shout out, let me know. I'll give you an address and your sticker can be plastered on that incubator because this can be hopefully used quite often in the future not much is other than those two which i'm super excited about um the other five females aren't doing anything so let's go over we got a little saf in here just took her out really fast because this girl is super stubborn and does not like to eat very well which is a bummer because this girl is gorgeous and she needs to eat get fattened up she's been on sas for a while and i just got like 50 of them uh, so I'm going to try to breed them. We'll see how that goes. But the one snake wants to eat it. So it's a blackhead Mojave. And it is a yellow belly, orange dream pied. So this girl has a lot going on with her. And of course, she's super stubborn and does not like to eat. That one's from Justin. This one's from Justin as well. This dude's a really good eater. It's a pastel, orange dream, yellow belly. Uh, Enchi, Pied, 100% Het for Clown. Gorgeous animal. I like the little head stamp. So, you know, a lot of people don't like pastel. I was told to, di to ditch everything that I have pastel. Um, but I'm still seeing a lot of big breeders putting pastel into everything. So that dude over there is going to go to this Enchi, Clown Pied visual. So that should be some killer combos right there. Uh, half of them is going to be visual clown pies and their half's going to be pied 100% clown with all those amazing codoms added together and we got this girl right here that just shed this one's from john chosmer i got two of these females from him so i'm going to need to pick up a banger male uh albino but i don't know what is going to be added into that but i still got a long ways to go for that, this is the girl that just laid a couple weeks ago. She just shed. She's been having two meals in the last two weeks, which is phenomenal. She's bounced back. Her recovery is amazing. So we'll see what happens with her in the future. Uh, we still got a couple snakes that I'm trying to bruise. There's an orange dream enchi leopard pie. This girl's from Justin, and this girl's big. 2021. I'm sorry, 2022. And she is Super bright. I love the colors on here. And uh, just almost 800 grams. So she'll be in the breeding process, I don't know, next year. But we got big girls like this black pastel pied. She's not doing anything. She's been paired up with that mahogany pied. And they don't want to do anything. So he's big. And then we got this fire entry clown right here. Uh, she's big too, and she's been locking up con constantly since November, and nothing's been happening. So uh, we got a leopard mahogany clown from uh, Justin. Beautiful snake. Really liking the mahogany stuff. Really dark snakes, which look phenomenal. So super excited to see how this one will grow. And I don't know what male I'm going to put it to, but probably this chocolate leopard clown right here. I'm going to go through and clean all these cages. This one's from Rice Reptiles. Pretty, pretty snake. And of course, doesn't want to look at the camera. So if you follow me on Instagram, you see plenty of these photos of these snakes constantly. So I got that male who's growing quickly, almost 500 grams. I'm probably going to wait till about 600 uh, to try to breed. I know some people do breed at 400, but I'm just going to wait a little bit on that one. And we got this female chocolate red stripe. Uh, leopard clown so you can definitely tell the red stripe fades out to the chocolate color kind of kills the pattern on the head but uh really excited to try to get some more chocolate and red stripe stuff into the uh breeding if everything works out which it kind of doesn't <laughs> go as we'd expect so onward with the what the video is supposed to be um all right, so feeding the rabbit. Hopefully YouTube doesn't shut this down. There is some blood on here, so I do apologize. It was gassed off and then uh, frozen. So here is a male green anaconda. We're gonna feed him. 
nice and easy. We're working things out. He bit me two weeks ago, or one week ago, but the handling on him has been a very, very challenging but successful uh, journey, like most anacondas are. So we got this beautiful lady in the back, Pop-Tart. We're gonna try to feed her this one, uh, two, a little over two pound rabbit. And we're gonna see how that goes. So she so normally takes a couple hours to eat. So when I feed these big rabbits to her, I normally don't show the video of it because I don't have a battery that's gonna last that long. And I'm not waiting around for two, three hours to have her eat. And one time she, I gave her too big of a rabbit. It was a, like a three and a half pounder because she's been crushing these two pounders. It took her like almost nine hours and she got to like here and then gave up. That was a couple months ago and she's eaten multiple two pound rabbits since then. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. Maybe one or two since then, but we'll see if she's even wanted to eat. Try not to like overfeed her because rabbits can be super fatty. But I do want to get some nutrition in her. And this girl is super sweet. Okay, so half the side of this rabbit is super bloody, which I really don't want to show. Because YouTube will not like that. Oh, there we go. It was a long strike. <laughs> and there we go. And then I got to go in there and clean out her cage. But man, this girl is gorgeous. Beautiful greens on her. I'd say she's almost nine feet. Uh, possibly 10, so I got another two feet before I have to get a, a permit here in Ohio, which will be super interesting, and that'll be a process that uh, I will go through with you guys as well. And uh, man, this girl is gorgeous. So, like I said, she's super sweet. I can take her out and hold her whenever I want to with no problems. But I wouldn't want to get in the way of uh, her and her rabbit. And definitely, I need to get longer... Uh, things from these, these are just from the basically like Harbor Freight tools <laughs> and because she could definitely do some damage if she misses and snags me. But we'll see what happens with her. She's definitely squeezing tight. And yeah. super wide range on her jaws. So I'm not, we can't see up here, but I do have, let's get that out of the way, um, a concrete mixer tub for Mountain Dew, the second female anaconda right here. Um, so I'll show you guys that when I have better lighting on that, but I'm just gonna let her kinda hang out and uh, do what she needs to do. So again, I appreciate the support on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Super excited for those clutches over there. And show you guys this last snake right here. This is a beautiful, from Ozzy, this is a fire orange dream clown. Beautiful snake. All right, that is it. I'll see you guys on the next one.